G'day fishy friends. Welcome back to Cookie's Fish Room. My name is Norm. Thanks again, once again for joining us. Today, I would like to start with a big thank you and shout out to all those who sent me well wishes and emails and messages to find out how I'm doing. Because I'll, for those who don't know, I was in hospital, been there in the last week, not feeling too well with Crohn's disease. I am a sufferer of it. Um, it's one hell of an ugly disease. It, I feel like I've been hit by a truck right now. But the main thing is I'm on the road to recovery. Um, and I couldn't be happier being at home with my aquariums and of course my family too. Now, today I will be talking to you about GH and its importance in the aquarium. In the whole hobby and fish industry, there's a lot of emphasis placed on parameters. Now, those measurements are vital to let us know what is happening inside your aquarium. Unfortunately, our fish can't speak to tell us what they're feeling and what is going on, but those measurements allow us to get into that aquarium and to basically find out how these fish are feeling, what is going wrong and what is going right. So I'd like to start with the API test kit. Now, this is one test kit, I, the master test kit, sorry. I recommend to everybody who ever asks me, what do I, what should I get for as a test kit? Now, it includes all the important stuff, nitrates, ammonia, uh, nitrites, and pH. But one thing, in my opinion, that it lacks is a GH test kit. Now, I personally think the ammonia is the most important part of the whole test kit. But the second one is GH, and it's not included in part of the master test kit. Um, you will have to buy this as a separate test kit. And I can't express enough how important it is to have. And the reason being is this. GH tests the magnesium and calcium ions inside the fish tanks, as well as other trace elements and minerals. Now you're thinking to yourself, why is that the second most important thing in, there is inside my aquarium? And the reason is this, all those things combined together provide what is needed to the fish's body, its organs to develop completely, fully, and most importantly, its immune system to develop and to fight against all those diseases there are out there in the whole fish world. Now, without those minerals and vitamins in the water, your fish stands no hope at fighting these diseases. You can add as many medications as you like, you still won't have any hope. These vitamins and minerals play a huge part in the aquarium. They provide the plants for its necessary minerals it needs to grow, the trace elements, um, even the invertebrates and snails, you name it, they all need these um, trace elements, these uh, vitamins that's put in there. Pregnant, pregnant fish, um, for them to have a successful pregnancy, will need all these um, vitamins as well. If your fish tend to die after they give birth, as we see a lot happens with live berries, in particular guppies, there is a lack of vitamins and minerals in your water. If your fry are born with crooked spines, that's another sign of it too. So, what I tend to do is dose a specific, a specific type of um, buffer, you could say, a GH buffer. It's called Seachem Equilibrium. Now, that is to me one of the most important additives inside my fish, my fish tank, my fish world at the moment. It helps my plants. I've got a planted tank. Oh, I have many planted tanks, I should say. And the plants are amazing with since I've started adding this um, additive. The fish have had less diseases, in particularly columnaris. And in general, it's just a healthier fish tank. So you would have, if you would have tuned in on the columnaris video, and even in the um, when's my guppy due to give birth video, you would have um, seen that I spoke to about the importance of having your GH levels up 
and the importance of having the right amount of vitamins and minerals inside your fish tank. These, this will allow, this is the biggest weapon against columnaris, in my opinion. The minute your fish shows, shows you signs that it's suffering from it, test your GH. I can almost guarantee you it won't be as high as it needs to be. If it is high, then that's where you, other things come into play as you start looking at you know new fish that are being brought in, your quarantine process, etc., and other parameters, basically, it might be a stress factor. So, do yourself a favor, get out there, get your cecum equilibrium, um, aquarium salt, also helps adding um, hardness to your water, general hardness. Also, Vitakim is another one, which does help in the trace element side of things. And also, if you, some, I'm not sure if it's out there in every country, but here in Australia in particular, and I know they do have it in the US, I've seen it, the blue conditioning crystals that they use to remove chlorine out of the water when you initially um, put the, the water into the fish tank. Those conditioning crystals also include a lot of electrolytes and vitamins that are important to your fish. So if you add, say, the equilibrium and the conditioning salts crystals, you're, you're ahead of the game. You're where, you are where you want to be and where you need to be to avoid all these diseases and to be another number on the columnaris list. So thank you. This was a very short video, but it needs to be said. It needs to be, you need to know how important it is to have your GH level at the correct level. So for those with live berries, in particular guppies, you want to sit between 150 to 180. And it's not always the harder, the better. You don't want to sitting too high either. But guppies and live berries love your, their hard water. Just don't forget that. And do us a favor, if you have not yet, hit the, the, the subscribe button, the notification bell, and please join us on Facebook and Instagram under Cookies Fish Room, and say hi to me if you've got a minute. Look forward to you joining us. Thank you to once again to those who have joined us on all social media platforms and those who have subscribed to our video. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you later. See you next week, folks.